All right, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and I die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. What the heck? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, this time, let's just, let's just kill her this time. That's Sweet. The spirit. I've always wanted to kill a monarch. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Shut up, voice of the... Voice of the hero! Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Voice of the hero. Voice of the hero. Voice of the hero. The interior of the cabin is almost Every entirely bare. The, the air is stale hero. and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Okay. The only furniture of note the blade is your I got it I got it I got it take the blade you take the blade from the table it would be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it okay right, we're going to shank her this time the door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below this is an oppressive place the air feels heavy and damp a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. I don't care, I'm a stab her. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh. Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. All right. Hey! You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yeah. No. No. Uh. Uh. uh okay. Yeah. You caught me. I'm here to slay you. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. She's right. We shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I don't know who you are because I'm the one in charge. Tighten that grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, knifey, knifey! No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I don't know. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Mm. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, mm. it'll be too late. End mm. this. Mm. I might just kill you. Then I'm not talking to you. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh. I guess I'll just kill Doubt, you then. Unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you Are attempt you to run her through. 
I had no doubt. I wanted to kill her. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. So she clapped me up. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Dang, she got a- shit, that hurts. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. Oh, I can't finish the job? Uh, my fault game? Are you serious? As internal bleeding sets in, the blade falls from your trembling hands, clattering to the ground uselessly. You lacked the will to finish the job, your bruised and broken body falling to its knees before her. The princess, exhausted, chest heaving with heavy breaths, tosses the blade away from you. This is the end, isn't it? Goodness, she said she... Oh my is goodness. This is really the best you could do. Look at you, completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She oh, well, they wouldn't let me kill you! And pushes you onto your back, the air leaving your lungs in a heavy puff. Okay, you don't have to do all that. And then she brings her knee to your throat. She leans into it with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess, shattering your windpipe and leaving you starved for breath. That's too bad. I was looking forward to some company. Everything goes dark, and you die. No. -uh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't... Nigga, terrible sense of deja vu. Terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. That sounds like such cap. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. What does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. Uh, whatever. I'm just go. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower you us. You sound pathetic. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being pathetic. You're being annoying. Yeah, that's true. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. I'm ignoring all Let's three of y'all. Let's make this harder than it has to be. I'm ignoring all if three of y'all. that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. No, you don't, so just stop talking. The interior of the cabin is larger oh. and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. Shut up. All right, I'm about to go see the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. 
Alright, let's wipe the mirror. You oh, it's a wall. And rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I hope you know how fat and ugly you look right now. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Cat. I'm about to see everything. We're going in the basement. this time. Yeah. Maybe she'll be more receptive if we're unarmed. Blade. Shut no up. Blade. I'm sick of you. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. What are you on about? Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. You shouldn't have come down here unarmed. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. I want to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. I am. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. That's kind of majestic, what the heck? The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Hi. Well, I see your hands are empty. You've already given up, haven't you? You aren't even going to try and kill me. How sweet. And more than a little disappointing. Who said that? She's disappointed in us? Neil. No! <laughs> the words don't leave your mouth. Instead, your legs buckle and your knees hit the floor. Who do you- what? That's my good little bird. No. Why don't we talk? The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And yet here you are again. This time groveling at my feet. What a wretched sight. I said no. I don't know what he doing. I said no. Hey, I guess I'm sitting here with four knuckleheads. Because whoever is actually doing the actions that's not doing the actions that I'm telling him to do the actions, he ain't doing the actions right. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met, I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. No! I won't tell you! You're supposed to end the world, aren't you? You weak-willed buffoon. Man, I'm just making conversation. Is that so? Mm. The princess closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... Alterations. Hey. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. She's inevitable. There's nothing else for us to do but help her. Maybe she'll be nice to us. Uh, what would you have me do? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. Like, you can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I say I do anything. What happened to you after I died? 
You know the limits of your privilege, little bird. How about you shut up and answer the question? I'm sick of you. There is an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. I don't know about all that, buddy. I don't know about all that, buddy. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. Well, your heart's kind of covered up by your ribs and flesh and skin, so there's not much I can see. What would you have me do? All you have to do is break these chains and set me free. Mm, if you're so powerful, do it yourself. Don't be rude. Of course she can. Shut up. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's exactly why it's rude. Shut up. We should know. Shut up. I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am, or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. And from your act of what about utter just devotion don't. and submission springs a new dawn, a better dawn. What if I just don't? Submit now, submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. No. I, I can't say no. Guess I'm yours Your to command. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? Well, no. They didn't give me an option to say no. All you need to do now is break my chains. If this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. She's kind of bad. You can't just give in to her, not when the stakes are so high, not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. My, hold on, my bad, my bad. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. Ooh, the it's hands. something different now. An are echo. Those, are those hands going to snatch her away again? Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She. You're a small one, aren't you? Dang! A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Ah! Bro got kidnapped! She kidnapped the voice in my head! Rise, my little bird. Ah! Without, Without hesitation, you're, you're brought, brought to your, your feet. feet. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't even have a weapon. All, All you need, need to, to do is believe it's been done. done. Uh, and what if I don't believe? You, you poor, poor wretched, wretched little thing. thing. You, you already, already do believe. believe. You've you always, always believed. believed. All you, All have, you to have to do is open, is open the last door, door to your heart. heart. It's easy. And once you let her in, you'll be safe and free forever. Please don't do this. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing to be sorry about. Shut up. All right, I'm done with this. I'm just gonna go sit in the corner. Let me know if we get our agency back. I was trying to find a way to not break her chain, her but hey. shattered, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. What a good disciple you are. Hold on. Come. It's time for us to leave. Shoot. Hey, let's go. I'll take it. Ha! I'm freaking bum. But I did not take her hand, nor will I ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you. But it's not the end for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna approach the mirror. I'm not saying nothing to you. You don't need to know nothing. You can just touch. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yeah, because it's your finale. I don't want to look at us. The voices feel small and distant as I approach. Silence as I reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but I need to see what's in it. I've grown. I find myself in the long quiet again. Hey ya! I'm at the cabin. How's it going? Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. Okay. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Um, how much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. You didn't answer the question. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold okay, there when we I go. have changed. That's better, that's better. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Oh, this is so beautiful. This music is so good. When I go back, it feels as if... It... Oh, yeah, okay, I want to know. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Huh. Have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is Dominance. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. She tried to enslave me. I'm not... I don't care about her. How many more vessels? Don't bring you any more vessels. What if I just wait here forever? What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things would be. You want me to bring you next time? Oh, why are you nice to me? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Oh, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Okay, okay. What if I just wait here forever? Then we will remain here as we are now. Barely finished. Damn. Cavernous. I'm gonna save right here. 
But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it pushing. All right. I'm also gonna save right here. That's the end of this episode. This game is low key fire. I'm not gonna lie. This game. This game is low key fire. We gonna tap. Look, I'm gonna record this. Another. I'm gonna record this later. We gonna tap back in. Peace out. I love you guys.